Today's video is sponsored by Pimax, which means I'll be playing with the AKX and the new sword controllers. So if you want to learn more about the headset or the controllers and what I think of them, stay till the end of the video. The Pimax 8K. It is massive, like, this thing is huge, but for good reasons. These massive lenses give you a 200 degree field of view, which is way bigger than any other headset that I've ever used. Each of the screens behind these massive lenses are 4K, so they are 3840 by 2160 each. The native refresh rate is 90 hertz, but it does upscale or overclock to 110. And of course, this runs off of 2.0 Steam VR base stations, which means you can use the Pimax controllers, the Index controllers, any of your trackers that you want to use. They're all compatible. And if you already have base stations, you save money. Now, obviously, Beat Saber isn't really the best game to showcase this headset in because it's pretty overkill for 
slicing blocks facing one direction, you don't really use the wide FOV. Although in 360 and 90 degree levels, they're actually playable because you can see the blocks on either side when they're coming at you instead of being completely blind like you are on every other headset. But for games or experiences like Half-Life Alex, Racing Sims, or Microfli Microflight? Microflight Soft Simulator. Microsoft Flight Simulator, the resolution and the FOV are a huge improvement over other headsets. If you want to learn more about the headset or Pimax in general, you can go to the link in the description for the AKX page and check out all the specs there. But for the part that all of the Beat Saber players want to hear about, the controllers. Now the comment I got the most when posting photos of these on Twitter was, aren't you hitting your wrist constantly on the controller rings? And the answer is no, you can actually pretty much hit any angle you want and not even come close to touching the rings. If you, if you do like a funny grip up here and then pull straight back, you can hit your wrist, but obviously this isn't intended. Even with my index going over the top a bit and my middle on the trigger, I still, I can almost, I can almost hit my wrist. The main thing that I really like about these controllers, even though they aren't lighter than the index controllers, is the center of gravity is almost in the middle of your palm and maybe even slightly back behind it, meaning you get the feeling of having full control over wrist swings without jerking your wrist around and causing unnecessary strain. This makes it really easy for a wrist control and being able to flick in any direction that you need to, especially for tech maps where normally this muscle on my arm from flicking with the index controller destroyed. With this, I have a lot more control without straining too much. Now these controllers aren't quite ready yet, they don't have the software completely finished for them, and there's not a lot of integration in applications obviously. They work fine for Beat Saber, but they only work with Pimax headsets at the moment. Overall, I think these have a lot of potential, but I'll have to see over time how my hands like them, but weight distribution wise, amazing. So if you want to keep up with Pimax, follow them on their socials. They also have a standalone headset that goes up to like 12K coming out in the future. Might want to keep an eye on that. One last thing, Pimax also has their Black Friday deals going on right now, so you can get up to 20% off on headsets like the Artisan, the 5K+, Plus, and the 8K+, Plus, as well as if you buy one of the headsets, you can get 50% off on the DMAS earphones, which are the upgraded version of their previous model. Pretty much everything on their store is also on sale, so definitely go check out the link in the description for all of the Black Friday deals.